Tonight, Cleveland firefighters battled a house fire in the 900 block of Paxton. That's on Cleveland's east side. Tragically, an elderly woman died. Neil Fisher spoke with a family friend of the victim and has the latest from investigators tonight. They took a loss, a definite loss. Tonight, Denisha Moses consoles her friend, the sister of the woman who died in Tuesday night's fire. Our firefighters entered as soon as they arrived on scene. Uh, they conducted a search right away. Uh, and they started to uh, locate and uh, put, the, put the fire out. John Kearns and the Cleveland Division of Fire were called just after 5 o'clock. When firefighters got to the scene, the fire had spread throughout the first floor. There were also reports of an elderly female trapped in a wheelchair. Kearns told 3 News the victim was dead when firefighters found her. The sister of the victim called Moses, who lives nearby, and told her about the tragedy. I just came running around the corner to just kind of calm her down a little bit and just and she told me her sister didn't make it. Moses told 3 News that firefighters worked aggressively to battle the fire and keep it contained so as not to destroy nearby homes. But this home took the brunt of the damage. There's a lot of damage on the first floor. I think from uh, what I heard on the report, some of the fire worked up to the second floor as well. Meanwhile, Moses continues to console her friend and the victim's family. I'm just praying for their family, you know, healing and consoling is going to be a lot, you know, the husband, the siblings, having the family, just having to go through it. So just praying that they get through it. Right now, the victim's identity has not been released and the medical examiner will determine the cause of her death while firefighters determine the cause of the fire. Russ. Okay, Neil Fisher in the newsroom. Thank you.